Hey YouTubers. The one thing I get asked more than anything else is why. Why do you do what you do? Why? Uh, what harm is anybody doing to you? And why are you going out to get, say, religious people or pointing out all these things? And it's a very difficult thing to explain. Um, so for that reason, I thought I would make this video as a definitive sort of guide that members of my family, amongst others, can look at and I can explain exactly where I'm coming from and um, why I have this atheist need, as it were, to speak out. Okay, it will be edited and obviously um, you're going to get uh, uh, cuts all throughout it. Because it comes off the top of my head, okay? So I don't want to stick to a script. I've got some notes, but not the script. And Obviously, if you go back to 9-11, that was probably the start where many people realised what religion really was doing to the world. Even though we appreciate that most people aren't terrorists and want to blow themselves up and throw planes into buildings, obviously not. It's fundamental religion that causes that. But in order to get to a fundamentally religious position, you have to follow the path of a moderate. You have to start at the beginning. You don't suddenly just become some strange person who wants to blow themselves up unless you're born with some severe mental disorder. But um, basically that brought it to light of why we have to speak out and why we need to guide people in religions because they can't guide themselves. They can't guide themselves because it's set in stone in bullshit old scripture. So let's go through it and let's have a little look at a few reasons why I do what I do. Here in Britain we have uh, 26 places in the House of Lords, it's kind of like the second parliament that's reserved purely for um, clergy, for Church of England bishops. Why? Why do we reserve 26 places for Church of England bishops? Why not midwives? Why not plumbers? Why not electricians? Why not reserve it just for white people, as Richard Dawkins pointed out? That would cause a stir, wouldn't it? And why do we give privilege to people who are supposedly experts in the unknowable, who have done degrees or whatever it is in theology? Is theology really a subject for a degree. I'm not sure it is. It's reading a book and trying to understand it in a way that, well, millions of other people understand it a different way. But that type of thing. Is that really something that you can sit back and say, whoa, it's on par with a scientist of, um, that's just discovered the Higgs boson? You know, it's not really on the same league, is it? So, it's one of the reasons I don't like religion. Religion defines pleasure as sin. What people do in their own bedrooms, etc. Sex, of course, I'm talking about. Sex is something we've all evolved to enjoy, to love, literally. Why? Why is, does religion find a need to stick its nose in and call it sin? Well, obviously, to control people. It controls what it's about, indoctrination is what it's about, and if you're going to get to them, you've got to get to them through the things they like most. Certain foodstuffs, you know, obviously sex. Um, sins that don't hurt anybody, um, and of course, are not really sins. Obviously it does hurt somebody, in this form of, say, a Catholic priest buggering boys. Obviously that's another matter. That uh, it really is a sin, and really shouldn't happen. Now, I'm not just saying buggering priests, um, obviously are just Catholic. We have them throughout all sorts of uh, different religions. But it's surprising, and obviously outside you also find people who aren't priests, who are child molesters, etc. But it's surprising how the amount and proportion of them tend to be within the clergy and within religious institutions, isn't it? But that's just another reason I do what I do. Religion controls much of government thinking. Also, it scams money. It gets tax breaks, tax breaks on its buildings, etc. These are millions of pounds of many millions, probably hundreds of millions of pounds of tax breaks are given. If not directly, as they are in America, straight as charitable institutions from charitable for what, for instance? Um, charitable for sort of uh, 
attending to people's spiritual needs. Well, pay for your own fucking spiritual needs, will ya? I mean, it's not everybody's spiritual need, is it? It's not life and death. It's not something I think a government should be involved in. Uh, if you want to spiritual needs paid for, pay for it yourself, eh? And uh, that's going off a little bit off the subject, because, as I was saying about sort of various tax breaks given within churches, etc. Another quibble is faith schools. In Britain, we have a multicultural society. Um, multicultural is generally accepted as being a fairly good thing. Um, Namby pamby multiculturalism. But unfortunately, religion is dragged into multiculturalism. And what has the government done about this? Well, in my opinion, and I think in the most sane people's opinion, if you want to put people together in a multicultural society, the best thing to do is put them in schools of multi-faith. And basically you can, you can obviously teach various faiths within it, but not make a singular faith school. And 90% of the many, many faith schools that we have here in Britain, 90% of them is funded directly by the taxpayer. That's me. And all it does is segregate these people out into their own little groups. That is not multiculturalism. That is nonsense. That is bullshit. And it's again um, the way that religion influence, influences on government, telling them that it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Religion is a good thing. Well, have you ever thought about um, things like the Old Testament or let's say the Abrahamic God? Can you, at this moment in time, tell me what good things did he ever do? What good things did that God ever do? Um, if you're struggling instantly to find an answer without going through pages and pages and pages um, of bullshit, then you've been indoctrinated. You've never really thought, what good things did this God do? Well, the creation of the earth, obviously. That's the only thing that I can think that most people come up with um, fairly quickly. Oh, creation. Well, creation, bullshit. We actually know creation is wrong, and we know it's wrong through evidence, etc., through evolution. And yet, because this very important fact is uh, so important to destroying religion, they decide to um, try and destroy the theories of evolution. And of course, we all know that. So basically, it tries to block sensible education. And for that reason, I also get really pissed off with religion. Here in Britain, we have hospitals funded by the taxpayer. NHS, National Health Service, which most of Britain is fairly proud of, despite the fact it's usually never got enough funding and never will have because technology moves on so much that it's always too expensive. However, despite all this and the lack of funding, here in Britain we actually give millions, I think they're like between 12 and 14 million pounds every year is given to clergy so that they can preach in hospitals. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why are we paying for that? I'm a taxpayer, why am I paying for some bloody guy who believes in sky fairies to come along for the spiritual needs of the patients? Well, if they want fucking spiritual needs, then get it themselves. Again, I don't see why I'm funding it. And that's another annoyance on why I do what I do. Of course, there are religions that actually deny uh, medicines, deny it. Um, that's fine. If you don't want to take medicine yourself and die because of it, uh, believing that your own little pixie man or pixie woman is going to help you, then that's fine. But unfortunately, these people also have children, indoctrinated children, and quite often they deny the medic medic medication. You find this also with things like blood transfusions in Jehovah's Witnesses and things like that. It's bullshit, and yet they're prepared to go through this hell and make their families go through this hell, even when they could have been cured very easily. It's bullshit, and it's another reason I do what I do. In many scriptures we find that um, it preaches, or at least 
explains hatred towards other religions and, of course, atheists. Hatred directly from scripture. And it's something that needs addressing. And for that reason, I do what I do. Scripture loves to get you out there and multiply. Christian soldiers, warriors of Islam, it wants as many as it can get for world domination. The more it's got, the more chances it's got of dominating, and those at the top get more cash. In the meantime, everybody else has to live the lie. And it's another reason that I do what I do. And of course, blocks on birth controls. It doesn't matter, it seems, to a religion if overpopulation is calling, causing suffering and starvation. That doesn't matter. It's still, for some reason, these sky fairy pixie people are going to come and make everything better. Well, I don't think they are. And it's another reason that I do what I do. <laughs> the bullshit of blasphemy is something which is just unbelievable. And yet we found only this last few, uh, few weeks um, a poor girl, a Christian girl in this case, but in Pakistan has been accused of burning some pages from the Quran and as such a blasphemous act for which she should die. Even though, at, as I speak, uh, an imam has been arrested and is looking into the fact that he probably planted them there to raise hatred. It's blasphemy laws are bullshit. Blasphemy laws are victim Blasphemy is victimless, victimless crime, and yet there's not enough people up standing up and saying, what is this bullshit? So it's another reason I do what I do. In Saudi Arabia, there are women that have been put on trial for witchcraft. Witchcraft! It's unbelievable in this day and age that women are tried for witchcraft in a barbaric society for which we practically get down our near knees and suck their bloody knobs. Politically, that is, not literally. And it's another reason that I do what I do. Stoning and beheading for adultery. Hmm. I'm sure there's lots of people out there that really agree with that. Um, we wouldn't have any uh, royal family left, would we? Now, OK, I'm not talking about just Britain, obviously, and all these things. But it is another reason I do what I do. We have people imprisoned for being atheists. Imprisoned purely for saying, hmm, I don't believe in bullshit. And why should I believe in bullshit? And yet they get imprisoned for it. There's a big case again at the moment in Indonesia, where people cannot speak up and say, where's the proof? Where's the proof? Can you show me some proof, please? There's never any proof because it's bullshit. And it's another reason I do what I do. Calling a teddy bear Mohammed caused major upset, as of course did drawing a cartoon of a so-called Mohammed, even though nobody knows what Mohammed looked like. So you can't really draw a likeness of Mohammed. And yet people died because of that. And there really hasn't been enough outrage. There's not been enough outrage from this sort of bullshit religious nonsense. And it's another reason I speak out. It's another reason I do what I do. We all, of course, know about Sharia, a barbaric medieval system that um, I don't think anybody in the West would even contemplate wanting. And yet we still suck up to religion and try and pretend that it's something that we would think about or or it's something we find decent and it's a cultural thing. And it's another reason I do what I do. Women, of course, are often beaten for not wearing the right clothes. Um, women that are raped sometimes are placed in uh, prisons uh, where they can be raped again. Uh, actually, imprisonment for being raped. Uh, it's happened. And it's still happening. And it's done in the name of religion. 
could say it's cultural. Well, it's not the sort of bloody culture I want in my cultural, multicultural society. So um, I think in a multicultural society, some things have got to be tamed, in, or in other things perhaps less tamed. But is that multiculturalism you sort of want? Certainly not me. Do you think homosexuals should be killed? Many do, backed by religious reasons. Should women be denied an education because they're women? Some do, for religious reasons. Do you think that the sexes should be segregated? Well, some do, for religious reasons. Animals are often treated with barbaric cruelty. And that barbaric cruelty is only there for religious reasons. Here in Britain, halal meat is legal. And yet the process of producing that halal meat was redeemed, was deemed barbaric years ago. A law had to come in with special purpose, as it were, just for religious people, for religious reasons. And it's another reason I do what I do. The clitoris is one of the most sensitive parts of the female body, if not the most sensitive part. What do I know? I'm a man. But I do know that removing it without anaesthetic um, is barbaric and it's done by many, many, many people for religious reasons. On top of that we have things like sewing up of a woman's hymen so that she looks like a virgin on her wedding day from her arranged marriage to this man so he won't beat her to death. And all that's done, again, for religious, even if you want to call them religious cultural reasons. Religions are usually appallingly sexist. They're also, m most of the time, appallingly racist. And yet, they expect, by decree, respect. So I speak out because I don't respect them. One of the weirdest things is that religion says that secularists like myself are evil, barbaric people. Apparently we're out to kill good, uh, destroy the good, and we are the biggest threat and the most evil thing in the world. And I am gobsmacked by this. It's unbelievable that we are being portrayed like this when all we're really trying to do is point out the barbaric circumstances of religion. And it's another reason I do what I do. Religion has absolutely no explanation for a god, none whatsoever. It never tries to explain how a god can come from nothing. And yet, there's a huge claim that atheists believe that everything came from nothing. Ha 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 ha! Which is in itself so bizarre and hypocritical. Um, yet, it's another reason I do what I do. Be it a crusade or a jihad, these are things that are backed by religious intolerance. Many will point to straight at communism as atheism. And again, Atheism and communism are totally separate. Atheism may have been embraced in the Marxist decrees of communism, but atheism is not communism, and communism is not atheism. Yet, despite this, crusades and jihads are purely religiously backed, and they're religiously backed hate crimes against other uh, nations, if you like, other religions. And it's another reason I do what I do. Be it mind indoctrination or, or turning abortion into a crime. I think by now you should at least see where I'm coming from. And hopefully I'm going to point you to this video and point people to this video in the future so that I can explain why I do what I do, obviously. I think that's all for now. I think by now you must get the point. Peace.